Alrighty, thank you, Todd. As we've talked about, Maine is facing a critical shortage of personal protective equipment for healthcare workers, but there are thousands of Mainers doing their part to help. And our Sean Stackhouse joins us this morning to share how one group is stepping up using crafting and crowdsourcing. Good morning, Sean. Sharon, good morning. Well, in just two weeks, what started as an idea for six women in Maine to support healthcare workers has turned into a well-oiled machine that has been making face masks for those healthcare workers. And as I found out, thousands of Mainers are stepping up to help them. I know that there's a, a great well of generosity and skill and a deep desire to be helpful and useful in this time. And that's exactly what organizers of Sewing Masks for Maine found out quickly. Six women all with the same idea to sew masks for healthcare workers on the front lines. And very quickly, we realized that more than one effort was happening in the state, and thankfully we all came together. Pooling resources to form one group, connecting sewers across Maine, and creating a database of hospitals and healthcare facilities in need of additional masks, happening all in just two weeks. Kind of a rush of organization and all of that, but, but we're, we have a good system now, so we're really hoping to be able to keep going and keep filling the needs as long as they exist. We're building our infrastructure to try and get ahead of the need so that once those come through, we can turn them around and close those tickets as fast as possible. So far, their team has produced more than 2,000 masks with the help of more than 1,500 volunteers. The masks aren't official PPE, but will be used by healthcare workers to help extend the lives of equipment like N95 masks. But if you have to make that mask last you five days, then we're just that, we're hoping to provide that interim layer of protection. And that's what hospitals are asking for. Not a solution to Maine's PPE shortage, but a step to let those fighting the coronavirus firsthand know they're not alone and giving purpose to many in isolation. It's definitely a, a village effort, a community effort, um, and there's just no better experience than that of, of being able to feel like you can make some kind of difference. Now, if you would like to help, you can connect with them, whether that's uh, your own crafting abilities or volunteering to help deliver and keep track of those masks, you can connect with them at sewingmasksformaine.com. And if you're a healthcare worker, that's the same site that you would go to to request masks for your place of work. Live at home this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.